here with Chris from Fake Problems. So thank you so much for taking the time. Of course. Um, what has been a memorable moment on this Warped Tour for you guys? Oh, well, actually, just yesterday we played, and at the very end of our most epic song that we have, it started raining and like wind blowing everywhere. It was like a, it was awesome. It was like on cue. It's like yeah, cue yeah. The it, was rain. Like, <laughs> it was amazing. Me uh -huh. and Casey, our guitar player, just looked at each other and was like, "What? This is ridiculous." <laughs> oh, that's it was really funny. Cool. And then, um, what's your favorite part about the Warped Tour? Oh, I like that the the fact that we're on a bus. That's pretty cool. Ooh, We've yes. never been on a bus before. So you, oh, that's... and you're sharing the bus with uh, Ann Arbor and Mike right. Posner. And I, okay, in Ann Arbor, I did an interview with them earlier. Great, they mentioned great that guys. They, yep, they shared yeah. it with you guys. I couldn't remember who it was that said that. So. Yeah, they're fun and uh, love the catering. Love playing for new people every day. I mean, that's why we did this so we could play for new people. Yeah. Um, and meeting bands that we would never normally tour with. So yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah, no, that's great and. Um, what is one thing that you would like to see Warp Tour do that could make the experience better, either for the fans or the bands? Um, I'd like to. I mean, I, of course, I would like to see some of my favorite bands on the Warp Tour, but that's that's just personal. Um, what else? What did Jack say? She said Diet Coke. I like yeah. Diet Coke. I'll take some Diet Coke. Oh, yeah, God, that'd right? be nice. Yeah. I didn't realize you guys were like neglected. Yeah. You know, like no, the, the catering is so amazing. Oh, yeah. But um, but I guess it's, it's funny because Hansen. every day there's like there's like like Hanson soda and these like really good iced tea things, and the iced teas are gone so fast, and everything that's left over is just like Diet root beer and Diet weird soda yeah. most people don't yeah. really enjoy it it seems right. unless there's just a lot more of that than the iced tea but i don't think that's what's going on yeah. sorry hansons just lost our hansons endorsement oh, wow. <laughs> oh really <laughs> okay thanks a lot chris <laughs> what band have you enjoyed watching on this year's warp tour <sighs> andrew wk i'm sure that's pretty popular that has yeah. been a popular andrew, answer they're great uh Mike Posner is always fun to watch. Ann Arbor's great. Uh, Every Time I Die is really awesome. Dillinger Escape Plan is one of the best live bands in all time. So, yeah, that's good. And then if and you mentioned like you know having more bands, wishing you had more bands that that you liked on the tour and stuff yeah. like that. If Kevin came over to you and said, "Okay, Chris, pick one band and they can come on the Warp Tour with us this year," who who would you pick? Oh, I don't know. Well, it sucks because for the first half of the tour, our friends Polar Bear Club, Swellers, and the Flatliners were all on it, and we're, we're good friends with all those guys, and we had such a good time, and now that they're gone, it's like, I don't really, I mean, we're friends with the Riverboat Gamblers and right. a couple other bands, but we were hanging out mostly with those those dudes, and it's just like, well, who do I hang out with now? Um, I would say bands like, you know, keeping it still in, in this kind of alternative rock scene or whatever, like, you know, Gaslight Anthem, mm. Against Me, Bomb the Music Industry, uh, Throw the Riot Before in there, Cobra Skulls. Cobra Skulls are coming on the tour. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a couple other bands like that. Yeah. That's good. Those are good. And then uh, which band on, the, on this tour has the best chance of reaching 10 albums and reigning, remaining relevant? I think there's probably a few that already have done right. that. A couple um, have, and, and, or they're really close. If yeah, they have, yeah. You know. Um, but of like, I guess of the newer ones and stuff that aren't close, what, what would you? Yeah, I think the riverboat gamblers could get there. Mm -hmm. They're already halfway there, yeah, I think. I think so. they're halfway there. <laughs> um, I, I hope that we we'll make it to ten records. Me too. What are we? We're at our third record coming up. We got this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so where you, you'll be at the halfway mark before you know Three it. Three tenths of the way there. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's great. And then, um, and then we, I've got the mystery question, so each. Oh, I love this. So, yes, you can grab a number and. Uh, what did you get? I got two. Two. Which, is the, which band is the nicest band on this warp tour? The nicest oh, band. Definitely not the Dillinger Escape Plan. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, God, Andrew WK is really nice. Yeah, yeah he, I'd say he's pretty much the nicest guy. Y'all sell sure. some sunglasses. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Very good. Now, actually, he's, like, my next or one of the next interviews oh, really? I have is with him, so I'm excited. Yes, I've, I'm very excited. Yeah. Um, you want this back? Or? Sure, yeah. I will. But there, and then, of all the, uh, there are a lot of charities and causes on this tour. Is there, which one would you say is your favorite of all of them? 
Well, I mean, it's hard to pick. Invisible Children's really been awesome. Uh, Keep Abreast does a really good job of getting, I see their stuff all over the place. Uh, I mean, there's so many on this tour. It's, it's amazing yeah. that they're getting out there to kids, you know? Oh, definitely. And it seems like every year there's at least one or two more on top of what yeah, for the sure. last year and the yeah, year before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, that's great. And it's good that Kevin does that. The Dear Jack Foundation, too, that's a pretty cool one as well. Three items that you can't live without on Warp Tour. Oh, more than one pair of shoes because sometimes there's rain days and sometimes there's not, and I can't wear flip-flops for some reason. I just lose them all the time. So I have like wet shoes and dry shoes that I try to keep up with. Baby wipes, I'm sure that's popular. And uh, some sort of sleeping aid, I'd say, whether it be beer or NyQuil or anything. It's kind of hard to fall asleep in a, in a moving vehicle, yeah, I've I noticed. I yeah. um, and then, one or two items that you packed that you wish you had just left at home. It's like, I'm, why did I even bring this? Oh, God. Um, too many pants. <laughs> too many pants, not enough shorts. Oh, Definitely. yeah. Definitely, yeah. yeah. That's, that's kind of a common yeah. question, too. Yeah. How many answer be? And then plans after this tour's over, what are you guys going to do? We're going on tour with the Gaslight Anthem oh. in September. Yep. And oh, and we have a record coming out September 21st nice. on Side One Dummy Records. Uh, what in the name of the album? It's called Real Ghosts Caught on Tape. Very cool. That's right around the corner. So. Yeah, I know. It's coming up. We recorded with uh, Ted Hutt, who did the Gaslight Anthem, Lucero, Bouncing Souls, all that. Oh, great. So, yeah. that, that'll be great then. Yeah, it should be fun. So, yeah, and Side One Dummy's a great label. Yeah, so. they've been doing good. Awesome. And then lastly, what message do you have for your fans? Come see us at the Warp Tour. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you can't make the Warp Tour, come out in the fall. Yeah, come to the Gaslight. Be our friend on Face, Tweet, whatever, all that crap. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you.